Hi guys, I'm Adriana Hi. and we are here as well as Ta. Um, welcome to our channel. Hi guys. Hi, Adriana. Hello Adriana. Hello Fernando. Hi George. Hey. So today we will have the demo two from the Azure Data Factory. I will copy the file contents from the. We will have two files on this Azure Data Lake, and then you copy the contents to an Azure SQL table. Are you ready, guys? So oh, yeah. let, let's, let's share my screen. Bye, George, and let's open you guys on the other screen. So this demo will be quick and easy. We will create a new pipeline uh, with a data cop activity from the Azure Data Lake to the SQL, and then you show the monitoring, right? So let's move on. This is the pipeline from my previous video. If you haven't watched, the link is there. So I have here the data lake with these two files, and this will be interesting to see what we have inside these files. I will open here. We have we have files with sales data like invoice numbers, stock codes, date, price, country, customer ID, sales amount, right? And I would like to copy this the content of these files inside an Azure SQL database. Let's find my 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 SQL database here. So the database is this one. Let's connect inside the database to show what we have inside this database. I have I need to get a password here. So I create this table before the video, but if you select this table here, we have only the headers, right? The table is inked. So my goal will be cop this content for both files we we have inside inside here right so let's go back to our azure data factor first step is to create a new pipeline so remember the pipeline is like out the flow what you do with this data let's let's call this one the name data lake to SQL, right? So the property is the name. The activities, we only use a copy date activity. This will be a very simple pipeline, right? Let's call copy data lake to SQL is the name, right? So here we need to define the source. On the last vi on the latest video, I created two source, but these source are for binary data. So Azure Data Factory can't see what is inside of a binary file. So we need to create a new data set. In this video, I will show a new way to create a data set. And that is here. We can create a new. We'll have the first thing is where the data set is stored. So the data set is on data lake and the file format we have a csv or this the lime test format so to make the thing simple a data set is our data is our spreadsheet here right this is a data set let's give a name cs like data lake the limited test can be the name link it serves the linked serves we can use this the same from the latest video because this linked serves is it's only like the connection between the data factory and the data lake and it's already here configured from the last last video i will select only one but later i need to change this to select all files so a very important thing the first row as a reader because as you can see here on my data set this is the first row this is the reader and this will guide the data factor how to copy this data right and first row as a reader i think it's all good 
OK, we have the data set, but remember, we have not one file, but let's open again my Azure here. Let's open the new tab. My data lake is here. Remember, on my container, I have these two files. I would like to copy all files, right? So let's go back to our uh, Azure Data Factor. And we use this weird card file path and star because it stars all files. I would like to copy all files. I'm not concerned to use this Delta COPS right now. Next step, we need to define a sync, a sync data set, right? The source is, our, is a, also called a data set. The sync is a data set. So the sync, I don't have here the SQL is I have to create a new data set. So the data set we choose here, Azure SQL database. And Azure SQL data SQL table one is a good name or what's the name of my table? I forgot is sales data. Let's call uh, sales data Azure SQL table. Linked service, we don't have any linked service with Azure SQL. Let's create one here. The name is good. Subscription is this one. Server name is this server. The database is this one. Now we have to authenticate. So let's get my username and my password. The liquid service like fair. Hi, the liquid service like uh, your authentication to the other system, right? The other platform. So you have to have a sec access. Uh, access. Y yes, it's, there, exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly, the linked service contains the authentication and the path of the service. Like in this case, because it's within Azure, we have this SQL, Azure SQL database that is stored uh, on this Azure subscription, and I'm only link, linking it. And when I link it, I created it here. So I, I mean, I, I, I create the linked service and now I'm back to the data set, right? The sync data set. The, the data set is this one we created the, using this linked service table name. Here we will select the table name. We have the sales data. And now we have the data set using a linked service, right? And everything created. And OK, we have the sync data set. And one interesting thing, everything we are doing here under the hood is code. Like we have code, we can edit the code here. The data factor V1 was almost pure code. The V2, we have this interface to drag and drop and the properties that make our life easy, right? So, so far we have the name from the, the copy activity here, the source with the data set on the data lake using the data lake linked service, the sync we just created. Now it's an important part. We have the mapping. So the mapping, we import here the schema and we need, let's make my screen better to, to do that. So we need to match the same data types we have in our data set uh, source with the destination. So I will check here how I create that table because I use for invoice number will be um, varchar. It's good. The, it's a string and you'll be a varchar. The stock code is also varchar because you have some letters. It's a string and you'll be a varchar. It's okay. Description is a string and it could be a varchar. Quantities is not string. This is an integer. We need to fix here int32. It would be an integer. Invoice date. This is will be a date time. And okay, the database is a date time. The unit price is a float. So here this you be a double because it's a values of point in the middle. Customer ID will be an integer. 
O O integral theta two. Countries is string for shards are good. Sales amount float float is this one double. Okay, just check string match for char three times integer dating time float with double integer. Okay, it's all good to go. Fernando, so in this at uh, this part we just are telling them uh, the type of the the, the, the data. data, right? So we need to, we need to match those um, types from your source to your destination, right? For example, varchar means that you've got uh, different characters and the the in the source is a string is a test right and in the destination is going to be of a shot the the uh, the same basically exactly yeah it's exactly that and in this case because this is a sim simple cop uh, this is a simple data cop without transformation you need to be very strict to match the data uh, we'll have um Another video about data flow transformations and the same data set. I will make this invoice number as uh, uh, integer, but here my data set is dirt and I have to use this string. And on the database, I have the varchar to, 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 be, to work because we can transform right now. Okay, but the mapping is done and was manual. Settings, I want to use settings right now and properties. Let's validate it. No errors. Publish. So this publish is like we are saving what we have modified here. Okay, it's published. Before before we go, just go here again on the database and run again the select and see the results. Okay, we don't have data here. So Let's trigger this. We will trigger this now because it will be like one time. And I will go to this monitor to show this will be our second run to show to show what is going on. So here it means this is in progress. The status is in progress. Oh, and we can see like in, in real time what's going on. Oh, done. We got this before the notification. Uh, let's see here in the database. Let's run again this carry. Uh, look here, how beauty, all my data is, is here. We copy the data from our uh, Excel files inside the database. So this Azure Data Factory is an awesome tool. You don't need to learn to code to use this. If you have the data concepts and you know how to make a basic SQL carry, uh, you know where the data starts, you can do it. You don't need to be like an IT expert to do that. This, I think I'm glad the Microsoft is democratizing the access to these data tools to all users in the world. This is amazing, no? Yes, I agree with you. Um, great. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's uh, great. Yeah. And Fernando, great. if you go back on sync, if you go on the tab sync here on the sync, sync, right? You can see that there is auto create table option. That means that yes. if you, you can let them create the table for you on the database. Exactly. Uh, we you use this on the next demo. We'll have a data flow transformation. I you create a new table. I you add a new value derived from the uh, source data set, and you learn everything about that. So activate the notifications and subscribe our channel to see on the net, to see our next video. And thank you guys for. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds great.